This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Barakah the Yahweh, Barakah the Yahweh My praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are going to call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are going to call Jesus, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, Lord will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the elect? Going in today, though it tarry, wait for it. You know, though this return of Yahweh Shai, the angels, though it's tarry, I'm going to look up this word, Terry. It says, uh, H4102. And it says, delay, to question or hesitate, be reluctant, delay, linger, stay. Sales Terry. So, you know, though Yahweh Shai is Terry, a way for it, regardless of the time frame, regardless of what's going on, we have to continue to wait for it. Because, what, as the scripture says, it says, though it Terry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not Terry. It's, it's not going to be forever and ever and ever. He's not a man that he shall lie. So we have to just continue to have faith and believe that, you know, the, every day is just another day closer to the return of Yahweh Shah. Because everything else is, is oblivious here, man. Everything else is just BS. Like uh, King Solomon said, all is vanity, vanity, all is vanity. Everything is BS here, man. We just, you know, doing what we got to do to make it through the day. Because we're looking for a new heaven, a new earth. We're looking forward to more than just what is. So don't get distracted by, you know, things, people, places, and things that's eventually going to pass away. Just stay on track and stay focused. Like the, uh, you see on the screen. Where it says, uh, hold on, what was the, I'm going to post it. It says, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. Be patient, be hopeful. And that's what we got to do, man. We got to be patient, be hopeful, and know that, hey, man, we, we planted seeds. We doing, you know, the laborous work right now. That's the scripture where it said labor. In fact, let me get that one. This is Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So it's a it's a work that we have to do so that we can get that ultimate rest, that eternal rest that we're looking forward to. We just got to continue. You know, we're going to labor now so we can enter into that rest. Why everybody else is able to do any and everything, and we we not we we're not envious. We we're just like, man, we we could see all the BS that people are going through, and and how a lot of things could be prevented if they are just walking walking his light, you know, his marvelous light. And you know, if we just like the scripture talk about, it says, uh, if my people will call by my name, would would turn. You know, I'm just paraphrasing, but basically everybody turn face to east and, and repent. Then, you know, then will he heal the land. Everything will be straight. But we already know that that's not going to transpire because that's not how, you know, the scriptures are, are written.
for it to go down. So we're going to get our rest in the kingdom. We're going to get these the, the, um, are looking forward to new bodies, you know, looking to uh, everything being made perfect, everything being in its rightful state. No, no longer under this damn devil's reign in his his. Uh, it's like he has a, a, a spell over this place, but it's a, it's a wicked spell, man, because everything is mourning here. I'm looking right now and I see a tree that got it has like a a metal strip around it. That's not supposed to be. People trying to do that and, and it's for to prevent uh, squirrels from climbing up the trees. Why would you do, you know, things like that? You know, we got all this semen out here. We got pollution in the air. And people want you to uh, to not complain and see the bad. They want you to see the good. But we see. We do. We see the um, we see the glass half full, not half empty, because we know, again, each day is a day closer to the return of Yahweh Shah. But we can't help but face the facts that this place is polluted. It's polluted, man. So I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures and Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. So jumping back over to. Well, I'm not going to get that one, but I'm going to jump to the next one. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Hold on. That's a lot. All right, it's 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. You know, it says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Hey, that's going to be the return of Yahweh Shah. We're looking forward to that. That's why a new heaven and a new earth. Them chairs coming down with them, them lasers. What people call UFOs wrecking shop in this place. Because it's... it's time for you know things to be put back in his rightful order and you know though we tearing and waiting for it because it's going to come it says uh i'm gonna read back to that going back to habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so though it seemed like things is taking a long time yeah i was shy he's on his way man and when he come it's going to be like a thief in the night he's gonna come and things are gonna transpire just right away why you know a lot of people are sleeping in you know meaning they're they're asleep to to this truth they're they're not wanting to be woken up i i just uh reflected and saw resaw something that i saw years ago and it just made me think like man how how far away we have become from uh yahabash Shah. I saw a, a Bible, but they call it the uh, the Queen Queen James Bible, because they're trying to claim that King James was a so-called homosexual. Why would a and, and they try to say he's a so-called white man, but why would they, you know, why would King James write in the scriptures everything contrary in in multiple parts of the Bible against uh, homosexuality or against the, the 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 happy people? You got to watch the terms now, but so that, you know, this is all BS and he wasn't a so-called white man. He was a so-called black man, you know? So, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fiction going on, but they, they take a lot out of, of the scriptures that's in that, in that, uh, so-called Bible. So, you know, it's, it's, this place is, is, uh, in need of a new management, you know, it needs to be, Re retuned, refined. It needs to be reset, cause everything is all off. So, and that's what that's what uh, the uh, the uh, Yahweh Shai is gonna come back to do. He's gonna come back to to put this place in his rightful order, starting with Yahweh Shai. Everybody's gonna you know gonna know the name. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue's gonna confess. Everybody's gonna know who Yahweh Shai is when it's all said and done.
Right now, you know, everybody trying to get a name for their damn self. Everybody trying to be somebody here. And nobody want to give the honor and respect and the glory and the reverence to Yahweh Shah, the one that, that deserves, you know, the praise. But everybody want to be known here. So let me jump to this next one. This is uh, Hebrews 10. verse 36 because you got all these platforms for all these women these men you know everybody is is becoming known out here you got people that have hundreds of millions of views some people got a billion views billions of views with seven what seven almost eight billion people here on the planet earth so you know that's being well known here people trying to get the status of of yahweh shah but it's just going to be him that's going to get the glory. It's not going to be a, a, the people here. So this is Hebrews 10 and what was it? Hebrews 10 and 36. It says, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high, ye might receive the promise. So we got to just continue to be what patient. We got to continue to just know that his promise is going to come through. He's not a man that he should lie. Day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute at times, second by second, you know, we got to be patient and wait because of the promises that's coming. He promised that he's going, you know, he's going to save his elect. And Lord will, you know, we have and we continue to endure until the end so that we can be saved. Because right now we're not saved. We're not saved from anything until Yahweh comes and rescue those that is going to need rescuing from that fire, from the thermonuclear missiles. Hey, we, we haven't received salvation yet. So I'm going to jump over here to Psalms 27. And verse. <clears throat> Psalms 27 and 14. It says, wait on Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on Yahweh. We just continue to wait on him. It says, he's going to, he's, what it says, uh, he's going to strengthen thine heart, meaning our minds. Because that's what it's going to come, that's where the test is going to come at. That's where it's coming at now. It's the, the, the battle of the mind. Just think for those, you know, who, who are going to be incarcerated you know, in these concentration camps for those that's going to be without food. You know, he said his servants shall eat, but he didn't say, you know, that we're going to eat how we're going to eat. So, you know, during those times of us waiting on Yahweh Shemiah Shah, our faith is going to be tested. There's going to be a lot of things that's going to be jumping off around us. But though a hey, 10,000 fall on that right hand, but should not come to ID. We're going to be all right, man. Lord will we are that elect. We're going to be straight. And he's had us thus far, you know. And we pray that he just continue to keep us. You know, all the acumen, the aquas that's out there. We, Lord will he continue to hold us, keep us fast, keep us, you know, uh, patient and keep us uh, faithful. Keep us being diligent. Continue to keep us uh, growing in our faith. Continually to believe. So this is. This is uh, Lamentations 3. And let me see. Lamentations chapter 3. And verse 26. It says, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. So while we're waiting, you know, you know, the scripture talk about us uh, to com we complain continually. But, you know, it's it's uh, also that we're just being patient, man. We're just just sitting and just sitting back and watching. That's sometimes the hardest part just to, to sit and wait, you know, just to be just patiently wait to be quiet. We don't, you know, not because, hey, man, every day we want to. I know for me, want to yell at the top of my voice and tell people off, man. T 
tell people to repent. And sometimes, you know, you might slip up like, man, you just people get under your under your skin and you want to tell them, you, you know, you tell them off like, man, you need to, you know, line it up with the scriptures and tell them what it is. But, hey, that'd be the spirit, though. But, you know, overall, man, we do our best just to avoid folks, man, because these people are, are, are the blind leading the blind. Let them both fall in the ditch. We ultimately, hey, it's in the it's in the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know how things are transpiring, how things happen. We just endeavor to work out our own salvation. Yep, we we trying to make it, man. So you can't be distracted by the things of this world. You can't be distracted by people that really don't want the help. You start giving people, uh, well, whether it be advice or Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And that turn around like the scriptures talk about, turn around and rend you. Throw in your pearls before swine. So, hey, our best bet is just to, you know, keep our eyes single. Do what's best, you know, to continue in this. Let me jump to this next one. This is James chapter 5. In verse 7, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. You know, you plant, if you ever planted anything, man, especially from seed, it's a patient game. You know, you see, you, you see the slow uh, steps of the process of it, you know, going from seed to the harvest. And that, you know, if you impatient and you pick the pick the <clears throat> the crop too early, you know, it could not be ready. It could damage, you know, the the crop that you're trying to grow. You know, so it's really about just having the the patience and knowing when. And even then, you can you can be you got to pick it at the right time. It's like watermelon. The watermelons, you know, it's a certain time to, to pick them. If you picking them straight off the vine, they got tentacles on there. And then it's a little spoon that's right at the, the, the base or, or not at the right, the base, but right at the, the top of where the vine connects to the watermelon. And right there, if you follow the, the vine just a few inches away, there's a tentacle that's right there as well as, close to that is a is a little it looks like a spoon and on there on and when once those tentacles and that spoon they're both dried out you know brown like really brown like to the point where they'll just basically fall off then you know that you got a good watermelon if you're picking it from the vine and you know you know that it's it's ripe so the same is with you know with what we're doing man is it's it's a it's a time for for uh we're planting, but then it's a time for harvesting. But we have to be patient. We can't pick it too soon, and you can't pick it too late. Because if you pick it too late, then it's gonna rot, or maybe the you know you might be too late. The the animals, the you know the elements to get to it. So again, man, it's just it's about it's about timing, and and that's why uh, you say uh, no man knows the day nor the hour of the return of Yahweh Shai. But we know that he's coming, you know, and it's and it's, it's signs to show that, you know, it's ripe, it's ripe for the picking. So yeah, these signs are showing itself. You know, you got this this major flood that just transpired out there in Libya, and uh, hey, you got you got thousands of people that have are have have uh been canceled, and then you got thousands that are just misplaced as of right now. Because they haven't, they haven't uh, been able to find them, so it's high likely that they're canceled as well. And that's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. He says, "I kill and I make alive. I do all these things." I'm gonna jump down. It says, "Be ye also." It says, "Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draw nigh." So we know that a hey, Yahweh Shai, he's coming soon, man. He's coming soon. Is is nothing that no one could do to stop it. 
slow it down is it's it's like uh the birth pains is they get an example of a like, these birth pains they once once the, the contractions get to a certain point once that water busts you, it's nothing you could do you can't you can't stop you can't turn back a birth once it begins and these birth hey, it's it's it started you know it's starting his his crown starting to uh proceed out of the, out of the uh, out of the mother's womb so this is I'm going to close it on this one this is Luke chapter 18 And starting at verse 7, it says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Hey, he, he's hearing us. He hear our cries. He know what's going on. He, hey, seem like you going crazy. Hey, don't trip. Yahabah Shemiah Shai, he got us. Hey, a lot of times we we going through different things, and we hey, we, we carrying that, that and only Yahabah Shemiah Shai knows it. And that's what makes it even more, uh, more better. I know that the term is wrong, but he makes things more and more perfect because he only he knows. So he's the one that's going to set it up and make things work. You know, it's not a, it's not of our will. It's not nothing that we're doing. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Rashad. So all we got to do is just continue in this. So it says, verse eight, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? He's going to find faith of the elect. And he's doing this all for the elect. It's all for the elect's sake. And I'm going to read that again. Luke 18 and 7, it says, And shall not the Most High avenge, avenge his own elect? He's going to avenge the elect. Because we looking, you know, right now, all we would do is get carnal in the flesh and, you know, do whatever we did on a small level here. It's people that, you know, that's rubbing us the wrong way. Hey, well, you know, it's so much that we want to do, but it's just like our hands are tied right now. Because right now we're just being fishermen. Fishermen, you got to be sit back. You just basically being patient. You a fisherman, you just patient. Just throwing your line out, boot. Or you got the net, throwing it out. Wherever you throwing it, but the the thing is, you got to be patient. You know, you got to set you got to set your your mind right and know that hey, and constantly endure and know that hey, I gotta be patient in this because it's he what it say he that endure unto the end the same shall be saved. So it says verse eight. It says I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. He's gonna avenge once it happens, man. It's gonna be all she wrote. It's all gonna be done speedily within one hour gonna be a lot of get back in with them within one hour as the scripture speaks on and we looking forward to the, uh, the the big payback revenge damn right so lord will this is edifying i'm not gonna keep going to the elect out there and with that all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rakakwadash the bonus to the apostles and elders a great millstone peace and blessings to you walk him out there fighting the good fight of faith lord will to the end. Till next time. Lord will. Shalom.